Hello, I'm here on the top floor of Cyril Mocker House, which obviously used to be the headquarters for the Government of Jersey. As I'm talking, you will see shots of the tired state the building is in. Small rooms and cramped corridors show how old-fashioned the layout is for modern-day working. Last week was a significant step forward, with Deputy Kevin Lewis signing the contract to start replacing this building with a modern, fit-for-purpose office block. By amalgamating into one central location, we will halve the amount of space we occupy. It's going to free up much needed space, mainly in St Helia, for housing and other purposes. It means also most services will then be in one place and therefore much easier to access those services. So as well as reducing the government's literal footprint in town, it's also going to, re also going to reduce our carbon footprint, built to higher environmental standards, helping us to meet our environmental commitments. And the estimated financial benefits are also impressive, with revenue savings of approximately £7 million a year. Personally, I am proud that this project is finally moving forward, having been blocked on many occasions over the last 14 years through political and cultural inertia. The offers strategy and its benefits in saving money and helping to challenge and change the silo culture of the organisation was identified around 2007, the time just after I was given responsibility for the new property holdings department. The resistance to change was a huge frustration to both myself and the extremely professional team I used to lead, one of whom unfortunately is no longer with us, and tribute must be paid to the work they did and the stresses we all endured. The delays with this project are just one example of dealing with legacy issues. It symbolises the resistance to change that we face in a range of other areas from Fort Regent and the hospital to our IT systems. These all require significant investment which has been lacking for many, many years. Brave decisions need to be made, not always popular among sections of the state's assembly or some members of the public. Failure, however, will expose us to significantly higher running costs or, more, or other more serious operational issues of safety, security or resilience. That is what is different between then and now. It has been difficult and it has been hard, but this government is taking steps to deal with the inertia and lack of investment that has bedeviled these types of long-term decisions that should have been made years ago. The world outside is changing and we need to be as agile, nimble and outward-looking as we can be. And this is all about being match-fit or preparing for the challenges ahead. Today represents a further step forward in achieving real change and hence I pay huge tribute to all of the team I lead, whether politicians, consultants, advisors or officers that have got us to this position. Thank you for listening.